this is what I do every single month to help me reset my life and feel a little bit more on top of the tasks than I have to do every week. We are in my Notion account right now. This is their new homepage spread, which is absolutely incredible. It has been so helpful, especially this section right here for my tasks. This allows me to see all my tasks across different databases and any ones that are assigned to me. I can also see all of my upcoming tasks within my calendar. I use Notion Calendar, so this connects to some of my work stuff and some of my personal stuff, which is very helpful. So I'm going to open up my June monthly reset because this is my template that I use for every single month's reset. I can review my previous month. I always do that first. And then I start to fill out what I want to do for the month, as well as adding some tasks that need to get done this month. So first up, I'm gonna start with what worked well last month, and then also looking at what needs work. So seeing where I can improve this month and maybe where I can add systems that weren't quite working in the first place. This month, I also have a section of things that I would like to do this month, or things that are kind of important that I need to make sure I plan for. Things like going to the zoo with the kiddos, planning for a garage sale, planning date night, and planning a couple trips with the kiddos. Then we have our goals section. I break my goals up into four different categories. I do my financial goals, my personal goals, my business goals, that's Nora Conrad, and the work goals. Those are my clients or things that are specific to improving my career. So first up our financial goals. One of my goals is to pay off my phone this month. My husband and I are working towards being debt free. We are also putting 500 extra dollars into our emergency fund to refill it from a emergency that we had to use it for and then an extra $500 towards our mortgage. We're slowly trying to split our mortgage up into two payments a month rather than one big monthly payment at the beginning of the month. So we're prepaying a little bit until we get to that point. We're also doing a no spend challenge. So these are some of the rules that my husband and I have decided on and kind of outlined to help us start saving a little bit more money and hopefully roll even more money into debt. Personal goals this month are finishing five books. All of these I've started reading and I just haven't finished. So it's just kind of finishing those up for the month. Deciding on my school plan, I have to register for classes soon. So figuring out what classes I need to take. Doing weekly family meetings. My husband and I sit down every Sunday. We go through the budget, the groceries, and our schedule for the week. So we are trying that in kind of a different style. So the goal is to keep up with that. And then we are also doing Bible studies in a journal. So just planning out what Bible studies we want to do with each other on our own and with the kiddos. And then our work goals or my work goals. I want to create a better work routine over the summer. My kids are home. So our routine has shifted a little bit and I just kind of need to adjust and adapt to that. Spending an hour each week on just planning the week organizing emails, kind of setting up my systems so that I'm ready to go for the week and I know what needs to be done, planning a budget for new contracts that I have, updating my subscription trackers for my business. I started a new tracker system and so I need to integrate that in with all of the systems that I already have existing and that's what basically these next three tasks are and then a couple of sections on some courses that I'm taking. Business goals for this month are my June content. I already have most of these planned or outlined or an editing process, but it's just getting these actually scheduled and posted. And also my campaigns, just getting those fully scheduled and posted. And then I have a few goals on here that I don't normally put into my goals section because these are kind of out of my control, but I am starting to track followers and more analytics on all my social platforms. So these are just ballpark goals for me that I want to have in my mind to remind me to just post consistently. Hitting a thousand Instagram followers, 2,500 TikTok followers, a thousand Medium followers, and 9,000 YouTube subscribers. And then I have more information on my strategy content and social media content, but it's a lot. So we're not going to go through all that. Then down here, I have a view of my database for just my tasks where I can see what tasks are for this month so that way I can start planning accordingly just things like that I've been adding regularly my June monthly reset for example and then I have larger tasks that are tied to projects such as completing a course that I signed up for we are deep cleaning and decluttering the house and then a few like around the house tasks like hanging things on the wall so each of these links to a project and within that project I have my milestones and all of the progress that I have for each task. So 
this is a course, and that's kind of what the projects look like. Once I have all of my goals and things in this kind of monthly reset routine, what I do is I take each of these and I add them onto my calendar or add it into my tasks. That way they're not just goals, but they're actually scheduled action steps that allow me to hit my goals. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now my reset has all of the tasks added to the calendar with the correct projects and goals linked to it so that I can keep better track. And then you can see this looks a lot smaller now because most of those have been moved down into actual tasks. So finishing the June content will be a goal that I have completed if I actually finish all of the action items down here. There are some things that I don't add to the actual calendar such as financial goals because those are just going to happen throughout the month or probably all at the end of the month. So those don't have exact due dates. Same with creating a routine. That's just going to be intentionally getting on every day and working through that. But everything else I have dragged down into the action items and assigned due dates for. So it's spread out throughout the month and I have a better idea each week of what needs to get done. I also have some reoccurring tasks in here, such as the family meeting that I had mentioned up top and the weekly planning sessions. I also have the monthly resets and tracking my mood on repeat here. So these are all repeated, you know, on the given due date that they're due so that they're just coming in here automatically for me and I don't have to do anything else with that. So I try to create as many reoccurring tasks as I can and that's something I am adding to and building as I go, but this is basically my monthly reset. If you want a free templated version of this, you can check that out in the description box down below. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next one.